Welcome to Heifer Ranch located in Perryville, Arkansas, and welcome to our first ever vlog showcasing recent activities at this 1200 acre working ranch practicing regenerative and sustainable farming techniques. In today's video, we are going to look at highlights from activities during the first two weeks of July, rounding up and sorting pigs for processing, harvesting a ton of food from the garden and fulfilling orders, a herd of cows frolicking through a field of sunflowers, and more. One thing is certain, it is hot and dry. Temperatures are reaching 97 degrees Fahrenheit or 36 degrees Celsius with high humidity and little to no rain. Due to the extreme midday heat, everyone is getting up early to get as much done as possible. The animals look fantastic and the garden is producing loads of tomatoes and peppers each week. The animals beat the heat by finding a nice shady spot, cool wallow, or if you're one of the chickens, by sitting in your own personal misting house. More on that later. Let's take a look at a pasture of cover crops that were planted back in the middle of May. They are now ready to be used for lunch for around 190 cows, including yearlings, calves, and a few steers. This 52 acre area should provide enough forage for at least two to three days. While this field of cover crops are being consumed, Heifer Ranch Land and Agriculture Manager, Donna Kilpatrick, is already planting another batch using a no-till drill that will be ready for the cooler months ahead and include cool season varieties like collard greens and other brassicas. But with everything so dry right now, including the soil, planting cover crops into the hard earth will prove to be even more challenging than usual, as will other tasks. Animals need more water, fencing becomes harder to set into the ground, and the team needs breaks from the heat. Now let's go back down to the pastures and check in on our chickens to see how they've been doing. Our fifth of nine batches of broilers are currently out on pasture, and our sixth batch recently arrived and are set up in the brooder. The chickens on pasture are beating the summer heat by enjoying the shady spots of the schooners and basking in their own personal misting system. This DIY design was implemented using tools from a local hardware store, including a soaker hose designed for garden irrigation attached to the schooner's main water line using a two-way shutoff valve. Having this small continual flow of water go through the system keeps cool water flowing for the chickens to drink. The hose is then tied up to the top middle rail of the schooner and the pressure is adjusted so that the mist does not hit the feeders located on each side of the schooner. Having the hose high up like this also helps the water evaporate on the way down, adding to the misting effect. We weigh some of them every Tuesday to make sure they're on the right track and make adjustments as needed. Our project partners at Grassroots Farmers Cooperative, where these birds will be sold for to market, do an excellent job at selecting the best breeds to be raised each season. You can try these chickens out for yourself along with all of our other pasture raised meats at grassrootscoop.com and have a box delivered right to your door. Speaking of other pasture raised meats, Donna, Christine, and two of our livestock volunteers recently weighed and sorted through the current batch of pigs to send some off to processing. Using this corral system, we selected 23 that met or exceeded our target weight of 275 pounds and left them in the corral until the following morning until they were loaded up. The rest of the pigs went back out to the pasture. We always want to send the biggest animals and get them out of the group. This helps with reducing competition at the feeders and waterers to improve the growth of the other pigs. Just like the chickens, we weigh the pigs often, about once a month, to ensure they are on target for their processing dates and make adjustments as needed. When the last 25 pigs from this batch are done, we already have our next batch of 100 pigs out in the pine trees that arrived in the middle of May as piglets and went out to pasture at the end of June. We raise pigs year round and stagger them so that we always have pigs at Heifer Ranch. Let's head over to the garden and see what horticulture specialist Sean Passera and his team have been up to so far in July. Located in Plant Hardiness Zone 7B, 
The Certified Organic Market Garden at Heifer Ranch produces food year-round, and having harvested the spring crops, the garden team has been busy prepping the soil for late summer and fall planting, while staying on top of order fulfillment and harvesting. We are cleaning up the blocks from the spring and early summer crops, amending the soil, irrigating, and using silage tarps to kill the weeds and create a stale seed bed which we will do at least twice for each block before planting for the fall. In block one, we will be pulling off this silage tarp that is covering a field of cover crops we crimped down using a PTO attachment for the BCS two-wheel tractor and planting our winter squash directly into that cover crop. If all goes according to plan, the decaying cover crop will create a nice weed barrier allowing the winter squash to thrive. In high tunnel one, the peppers are really starting to pick up. In high tunnel two, the first of three rounds of tomatoes that we're planting this calendar year are still producing six to 700 pounds of heirloom tomatoes each week, which is down from a peak of about 1,200 pounds three weeks ago. And the second round of tomatoes, located under our caterpillar tunnels in block four that have been interplanted with a few different varieties of lettuce are quickly approaching maturity. These are determinate varieties and should begin ripening by the time the tomatoes in High Tunnel 2 are finished producing. Due to the coronavirus, markets for specialty crop producers have changed drastically. Sales to restaurants, schools, and some wholesale outlets have gone down or shifted in a new direction. To help streamline efficiencies, Sean and the garden crew are implementing new and innovative methods for harvesting and packing, like this customized washing station for carrots. Sean's taken a standard cement mixer and modified it by drilling holes in the bottom to release water and debris, mounting two small PVC pipes inside the barrel to serve as agitators, and is using a semi-rigid hose normally used in computer-navigated cutting devices that make it easy to reduce the handling of product and speed up operations. Using this system, one person can do approximately 200 pounds of carrots per hour by themselves. As you can see, there is a lot happening at Heifer Ranch in July, despite the intense summer heat. Our staff and volunteer crew are doing an amazing job. Thanks so much for joining us for our first of several planned vlogs from Heifer Ranch. If you like this video, please help support our work as a nonprofit by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, from our team here at Heifer USA at Heifer Ranch in Perryville, Arkansas, so long.